Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, that has been divided into three parts, such that the area for this uh, green rectangle is 12 centimeters square, whereas the area for this uh, yellow rectangle is 21 centimeters square. Now we are going to calculate the area of uh, this uh, blue square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, blue square. Since we are dealing with the square, let me call this side A. Then this side is going to be A this side A and this side is A as well. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, square A, B, C, D. Let me go ahead and label uh, this side uh, lowercase uh, b since we are dealing with the square. So all these uh, sides are going to be B as well. And now let's focus on uh, this uh, side length which is uh, A and this whole side length is B, then this side length has got to be B minus A, isn't it? And likewise, this length is going to be B minus A as well. And now we know that this side length is A, then this side length has got to be A as well. And here's my next step. Let me go ahead and manipulate uh, this figure by just extending this uh, straight line all the way over here. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. And we can see that this uh, yellow rectangle has been divided into two rectangles as you can see over here. Since this side length is B minus A, this has got to be B minus A as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green rectangle whose uh, side lengths are A and uh, B minus A. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length times width. So therefore the area for this uh, green uh, rectangle is going to be this side length times this side length. So this has got to be A times B minus A. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this yellow rectangle now. And its side lengths are A and B minus A. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle by using this formula. So this area is going to be this side length A times B minus A. Let me go ahead and write down A times B minus A. And now we can see the area of this green rectangle is A times B minus A. And the area for this yellow rectangle is A times B minus A. Both are same. So therefore, the area for this uh, green rectangle is 12. So this has got to be 12 centimeters square as well. Now we can see the area for this uh, whole yellow rectangle is 21 centimeters square. And this part is 12. So this side is going to be 21 minus 12 equals to 9 centimeters square. So we finally figured out the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is 9 and this one is 12 centimeters square. Now I'm going to spend a couple of minutes on a quick review. We got uh, this uh, rectangle that has been divided into four parts. The area for this compartment is A, area for this one is B, area for this one is C and likewise this one is D. Then we just simply crisscross. So our this product of area A times C equals to B times D as you can see over here. Now you might be wondering how this could be possible. Let me go ahead and give you a quick uh, explanation. Let me go ahead and call this side A and this side B. I'm going to call this side C and this side D. 
Then likewise, these side lengths are going to be A, B, and these C and D. And now let's recall once again the area of rectangular formula. It is length time width. Let's focus on this rectangle. So the area is going to be A times C. So I can write the area as A times C. Likewise, the area for this uh, rectangle is going to be B times C. Let me go ahead and write down B times C. Similarly, for this uh, rectangle is going to be a times D and finally for this rectangle is going to be B times D. Now let me write down A times C in our cases. This is our A and this is our C is going to be A times C times B times D. Let me go ahead and write down A times C times B times D. Let me go ahead and rearrange this one. I can multiply A times D first and then I'm going to multiply B times C. So therefore, we can write this one as A times D times B times C. Now we can see our A times D is simply this B. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by uppercase B. And likewise, this B, C is the same as over here D. So I'm going to replace this one by uppercase D. So therefore, I can write this thing as B times D. We can see our A times C turns out to be equal to B times D as you can see in this uh, equation. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and call uh, this uh, area of this uh, blue square. I'm going to call it uh, X. And then we are going to use this concept. We're going to crisscross. We're going to multiply these two areas. And likewise, we are going to multiply these two areas as well. Therefore, X times 9, I can write uh, 9x equals to 12 times 12. I can write 12 times 12. So therefore 9x turns out to be equal to 144. Divide both sides by 9. So therefore our x value turns out to be 16 centimeter square. Thus this x value turns out to be 16. So thus the area of this blue square turns out to be 16 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.